You know, one concern we all have as our kids go to school are the kinds of things we see on the news, multiple victim shootings in schools, kids coming to school with guns, et cetera. And uh, what I encourage people to do is to recognize that the majority of these cases that we've seen are nearly identical. They are not different. They're, they're presented by the news media as if it's a whole new thing, and it, look, look what's happened. But there have been so many of them, and they all have the same common ingredients. You have a child who is alienated from other kids, usually alienated from parents. You have kids who have talked about suicide or threatened suicide. And you have many people who are aware ahead of time that something isn't right. And yet many people are reluctant to say anything because you fear it would stigmatize the child or what have you. People are also reluctant to go in and talk to the principal. Something I've noticed with some irony is that as adults, we still treat the principal as if he's some big authority figure. Well, at 58 years old, I'll tell you, he's not my authority figure. This is a civil servant, God bless him or her, who has a job to do, and I'm not the least bit intimidated to go into the principal's office and say what I feel is important and express and ask questions that I think are important to get the answers to. And if all of us would communicate more, parents with each other and parents with the school, you would identify earlier kids who need help. Ironically, one of the things we hear about these kids is that all the signs were ignored. Well, being ignored is actually one of the pre-incident indicators that is present in multiple victim shootings, meaning the person felt ignored. And so getting help to people, it's not a matter of getting them in trouble by saying I have a bad feeling about that student. It's a matter of getting them helping resources. Nobody is harmed as a result of you being concerned that a particular child in school might act out violently. He is helped in most circumstances, and so is everybody else. And it comes to the same thing, which is being willing to speak up, being willing to express what you feel without feeling that you have to prove it.